Hey guys, welcome back to Burns' Math Club. Today we'll be learning about absolute value. So an absolute value is just when you find the distance between an integer, so a positive or negative number, so but that also includes zero. However, zero is not positive nor negative. So you're trying to find the distance between an integer, whether it's positive or negative, and the distance between that and the number, the integer zero, okay? So in order to find the distance, all you're going to have to do is count, but then there, again, there is a simpler way to do it, and I'll show you both. So you can use the number line, and you can just, just by looking at it, you can tell the distance. So let's first go ahead and do an example. So remember, the absolute value symbol is just two straight lines, and then you put the number in between them. So let's say we are trying to find the absolute value of the number four. So we're going to put a dot on the number four. Okay, so we have a dot on the number four. And then we're gonna count from four all the way back to zero. So one, two, three, four. That means it is four um, spaces away from the number zero. So the absolute value of the number four is four. Now let's do another one. So this time let's do one with a negative. So let's see if we have to find the ab absolute value of negative three. So once again, put a dot on negative three and count. So one, two, three. So it took three spaces. Now just because this is a negative three does not mean the absolute value of negative three is negative three. It is going to be a positive three. Now here is the helpful hint, which you can find the absolute value rather it's simpler than having to make an entire number line and then counting and jumping because these are just smaller numbers. These are negative three and four. And the numbers could be because of course numbers are infinite. It could be a number one thousand six hundred and fifty two and you're not gonna make one thousand six hundred and fifty two things and count all the way. So if it's a positive number now remember this, absolute value is always going to be positive. So it could be a negative number inside, it could be a positive number inside. Always the absolute value is going to be positive. The distance is going to be positive because it doesn't matter the distance, uh, the direction in which the number is. So it could be on the right side of the number line, that means it could be a positive number, or it could be on the left side, that means that it is a negative number. So it doesn't matter. So your absolute value is always going to be positive, and also the inside number is positive, obviously it's going to be positive. So if it, even if it's negative, your absolute value is going to be positive and it's going to be the exact same number. So the absolute value of positive 4 is a positive 4. The absolute value of negative 3 is a positive 3. So now, these are just simpler numbers. So once again, if I had positive 1,500 over here, then the absolute value would be positive 1,500. And if it was negative 1,500, the absolute value would still be a positive 1,500 because this is the distance that we're measuring, okay? So it's always going to be positive. And so that's it for this video. I hope you guys learned how to find the absolute value of numbers. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.